Humans, animals and even insects are able to have such a great reactions, because they are able to predict their environment and outcomes of their actions. Our brain consists of millions of neurons along with connections between them. These neurons provide us ability to predict, learn, think and love. We are able to learn various things such as math, art and sport during our lifetime. We could learn because our neurons and their connections are able to change. We call this ability to change as neuroplasticity. One question, which comes to mind is that who controls these changes? The answer is pretty straightforward. Other neurons. In brain some neurons controls the rate of learning in other neurons. This phenomenon is called neuromodulation. The aim of this project is to build forward models for robots. From the early days of robotics, robots had models but their models are mostly human engineered. In this project I have tried to build an automatic forward model, by using a neuromodulation controlled plastic artificial neural network. I kept simulation setting as simple as possible. I have used a two joint motored robot arm. This arm has two motors over its hinges. Given motor commands, my forward model must be able to predict angles of joints in real world. Our world is not fully deterministic. My model must be capable of dealing with motor fatigue and motor damage. This diagram shows the overall view of my model. The inputs are given angular motor commands and time. The outputs are predicted motor commands. Because I run my experiments over simulator, I had to consider motor fatigue and motor damage by myself. To simulate fatigue applied motor commands decreased over time. Motor damage has been applied randomly to one of the joints sometimes around 400 th motor command. I have run 30 experiments for each model with this setting. I have shown the results of best runs of each model for comparison. You can see the real arm on the left, predictions of static neural network on the middle. Predictions of plastic neural network are shown on the right. The numbers on the screen are motor command number. Cumulative error of static neural networks and cumulative error of plastic neural networks respectively. As time goes, especially after the motor damage, the plastic neural network shows better performance than static neural network. Although results are promising but the difference is not significant. The results could be improved in future. <laughs>